as you've seen, we got new lights. I just showed you around. We ordered two of these. I was not happy with the lights that I had in my truck. So I went to a different company because, you know, we've been on social media, Midwest Strobe, you know, liking the pictures, you know, and uh, I, I kind of feel that when a company goes out of their way to like one of your photos or follow you, that, you know, it shows good customer service, at least to start anyway. So I contacted the company over the last couple weeks and was talking about several different lights that they carry. So they have this new light. It's a 4x6. We showed you. And you can hardwire it. And I prefer the hardwire so I can solder my wires. And what I'll show in the video, we're not going to do a full detail on every wire run, but I'll show you glimpses of the fuse box, the switch, and a couple of soldering uh, putting on the light. I'm also going to show a sky view from my old lights and I'll let you guys determine if you think these are brighter. I will leave a link in the description below to order these. These are a new light that's going to be on their website here uh, by tomorrow. So it's four inches down, six inches wide. You can get it. I got the floodlight because I like a lot of light behind the truck. Now I don't need to see real far. You can hook this up in 10 to 30 volts. They're 45 watts, 70,000 plus hours on the light life, and they're 3,375 lumens. So one of these lights is brighter than both of the other lights I had. So I really have some high expectations. Now I'll leave all this information if you want to find them. They do have Instagram. Midwest Stropes. Again, I'll leave this stuff in the link below. We'll go through the installation. I want, wanted to bring up, you know, after talking to these guys for the last couple weeks, generally when you talk to a company, they get very irritated. They don't want to answer all your questions. I don't like to buy online. These guys answer all of my questions. They took their time, never got aggravated, and in fact called me on the telephone so that we could go over some details because he wanted me to be happy. This is a lot for a company if you ask me. Now, if you guys think these lights are for you, click on the link below, go to their website, give them some business, and you could leave a review and let us all know what you think of their customer service. Until now, let's get to the install. Okay everyone, so what I did is I drilled a hole in the back of the cab. Now notice that this is pointing this way. Now over the last 17 years, I've made many mistakes. I used to just point my lights back, which gives a little bit of light here, but it's dark behind the truck, so when you're backing up, some people have a salter, but I don't have one in the back, so I use my mirrors and my back window. So by pointing this this way, it lights up that whole side of the truck and behind the truck, and the light, when I install it over there, is gonna point that way, and it's gonna light up over here. So the whole back of the truck with floodlights is going to be lit up. So we're going to take the wire here, we're going to put it in, and we'll show you a little bit more. Alright guys, I like to solder my wires. I've never had real good luck with just crimping them. So I just take a quick second here, solder my wires, so I never have to worry about it. And what I did, is I run the wire behind the light and through the chassis up to the front to the switch so it's all protected and no weather we got some conduit in it on both sides so that the wire is protected so we'll move right along okay guys so we got the positive here we have an inline fuse I zip tied it down here we have the negative here Took the wire down here. Now I only put the electrical tape here because it's under the hood. We put it up, put it in the dash. I went with a blue light because you got your red lights and your amber lights and I didn't want to, you know, make myself think you know oh what's that light coming over there I just wanted to keep it a different color there nice custom look alright everyone so we have the lights installed 
and the price is fifty dollars each per these lights I uh, I will be showing a quick photo from the drone of the old lights last night then I'm gonna put the drone as soon as it turns dark and I'll show you these so you can decide if you like them you know the reason I like you know switch to a brighter light and these is they're a little bit more brighter the wire was a little thicker and uh, I, I couldn't see as much in the back with the cheap lights that you know I have bought at Tractor Supply they still worked I just couldn't see as much so you know having them here this way I felt is uh, better for me and uh, you guys be the judge it's coming up There ain't no stopping us Fly without boarding pass Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast Call me a shooting star Let them know who you are Flying up and above Wish I was a star